name's Simon Park. I'm a consultant paediatrician with special interest in paediatric oncology at the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital. Most of my work is looking after young people with cancer, so that's children from um, birth to 18 years um, and occasionally beyond that who present with a wide array of children's leukaemias, cancers, brain tumours um, and providing day-to-day -day care for them including supporting them through chemotherapy and all the various bits of the treatment they have. Our patients spend huge amount of times in hospital having treatments which are by their nature very unpleasant. The difficulty for these children is that they are therefore cut off from normal activities, from normal experiences, that they miss out on lots of those really precious experiences that we all have in our childhoods by, by virtue of their illness. And what we want to try and do is give them some hope, some pleasure, something that will light up their lives, something that will give them a, a, a really good experience that can, to some extent, cancel out the awfulness of, all, of lots of the other treatment that they're having. When children are diagnosed with cancer, or indeed any other really severe, potentially life-threatening condition, the world seems like a very dark, a very black place for the child and for their family. One of the things that we can do to try and illuminate that pathway to some extent is to put a positive experience in there, to give the family and the child something for them to look forward to, something that will be something good happening in amongst what seems like a long and intolerable journey. And that's where Make-A-Wish comes in. It's that special moment, it's something to look forward to, the build-up, the planning, the conversations, the excitement and the anticipation coming up to it, then the experience itself, and then reflecting back on that. Children who are going through cancer treatment are, are really stigmatised, they're really excluded from lots of the normal activities. They often miss school, they often miss you know, going and playing football with their mates, just all the normal stuff, and that makes them uh, isolated, makes them very lonely. The, the wish can be something that makes them feel special again, that makes them feel really important, and it's something that actually can be a real bridge towards reintegration because their mates hear about it, they want to talk about it. It's a conversation they can have that's not about health, it's not about cancer, it's not about hospitals or doctors, it's about something that's fun, that's unique, that's exciting, and it's different in a positive way, whereas all the other difference they experience in their daily lives is in a very negative way. Having a wish in that phase does lots of things. It gives a new focus to what's happening. It puts something positive in amongst negativity. It can actually cause children to, to, to feel better. It can make them um, rally their strength in order to face what, what to face the, the, what's ahead, and, and and the wish can be a real focus for that. It gives the child an experience which um, can be unique, can be uh, you know incredibly special to them. It gives the family that memory as well, which is really really important. So when children have been through a long treatment, um, they come to the end of it. It's a real landmark. And it's actually quite an unusual time. You know, one expects it to be a time of great celebration, but actually it's often a time with great anxiety attached to it because treatment has been difficult, treatment's come to an end, and there's a lot of uncertainty. And through various things that we do, we try and mark that. We try and make this something that, that um, can be celebrated, can be uh, a positive experience and a positive time. Often having a wish can be something which uh, gives that punctuation of the end of treatment. It's a signal, things are getting back to normal, I've been through this bad experience and now as a, as a, as a, as a celebration of the fortitude that I've shown through that experience, that I've got this opportunity to do something which is about, about them, it's about them as an individual, it's something they've chosen, it's something personal, it's a statement of, of who they are and what they want, and they can have that as their celebration of coming to the end of treatment, and as a foothold to get back in to thinking about life in a positive and all sense, all sense of purposes normal way.